Hello friends, welcome to Science With Me. My name is Dr. Erica with Rosie Research and we are doing some real life circuits to complement the Tinkercad circuit tutorials that we have already online on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and support us at patreon.com slash Rosie Research. So today we are making a potentiometer out of a bunch of resistors because we are gonna light up um, this red, green, blue LED to make a paint box without the potentiometer. So this is gonna be a really fun one and that's because it doesn't come in our Elegoo um, set. There's not enough potentiometers. So what you'll need is a breadboard. It's gonna look like this. I have a nine volt battery with a battery hat on it and that's sort of got some wires that come off that you can see. I have a red, green, blue LED right here. I've got some one kilo ohm resistors I have, these guys is what we're going to connect into it. So I have a red, a green, and a blue um, wire. And then I have a whole bunch of jumper cables that I can use to build this and make it look sort of nicer. I've got some scissors in here and we are going to build it and follow along with our Tinkercad project that we had already had. So let's get started. And here is our breadboard. These pieces on the lines going up and down are sort of connected to each other. And we can bring in this nine volt LED and we're gonna connect the red to the positive rail. And you can just plug this piece in right here. And then we'll put the black onto the blue rail. And if you find that these continually come out, you can sort of tape them in there and that will work really, really well for you. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna insert our LED. So here is our LED. There's these four legs, this longer one, is either the common anode or the common cathode. It sort of depends what type you have. Um, and if you have the opposite type, we have a common cathode here. If you have the opposite type, you will just need to switch your red and your blue. So we're gonna plug it in where one leg is in each column. So they get their own column. That helps us to make sure that they are not touching each other because the columns are connected or the, yeah, the columns are connected, but the rows going across are not. All right, so next we're gonna start adding in some of our resistors right here. So I'm gonna take these resistors and I will pull them out just like this. And we can put these guys right down here like that. And I'm gonna cut these guys a little bit smaller. All right. And that's just to sort of help with them being so far up. So I'm just gonna cut them just like this, like that. And then I'm gonna fold these pieces down as we're getting ready. So those resistors are kind of ready and happy. So first, we're gonna connect our cathode up into ground. So I can take out one of my jumper cables and the cathode is this second one in. It's in pin 17 for me. I'm actually gonna move this guy down a little bit. Just like that. So I have a little bit more space up here. All right, so I want this line to go to the blue and into the common cathode of mine. So just like that, you can see it's going into the column of the second pin of that LED. And then we can see what is next on our Tinkercad video as we build this. I'm going to keep prepping these little guys right here. Just like that. And we will fold them so we have lots of staples. And now we're gonna start making our LED or resistor ladder. So we'll come down here and we'll start putting these in, just like in that video. So let's pause it for a second. And get this one in. And now where this one comes out is where we're gonna put the next leg in. So we'll come in right here and make sure this is the right size and we can just push that down. And now where this leg comes out, this is basically making a ladder of these little resistors where I can connect into any point 
and it's going to change the amount of resistance I have coming out. All right, and so I'm gonna keep building this ladder all the way through. So I have lots of different resistances that I can choose from. And that is what a potentiometer is. It's changing the resistance of something, which is what we're doing here. So let's get these last ones in. Now the more of these resistors you put in, the more range you will have. But again, you wanna make sure that each time in each of these little spots right here, this is in the same column. These two resistors share a column, which means they're actually attached. All right. So now we have our resistors in, which is great. I notice I'm gonna actually plug this guy in right here. We were missing that piece, it fell out of us. There we go. So now I'm going to power it up. So to power this up, I just need a red wire and I can go from up here to this corner. So it's going all the way up into the red, out into this corner. And now there is a gap right here in all of our breadboards. There is a gap. So we're going to need to jump that gap or bridge that gap. And we can do that with another one of these little red pieces like this, and we can press that in. So now I have that red wire that comes into this first resistor right there. All right, and that is gonna give power to this rail of pieces. All right. So then we are going to start looking at where we wanna connect these pieces. So I have my red piece, and I can choose wherever I would like to connect this into maybe here, and you'll notice the red goes on immediately, and I can change sort of how bright that red is, all right? And then I can add in the blue and the green pieces. I believe this one is the blue, and we can check over here. Oop, this one's the green. So we can pull this one out. We'll change the colors here so that this one is the green. We'll double check, there we go. So I can change the amount of green that I have. And here is my blue. And I can change the amount of blue that I have. I can make it really strong or not as strong, which is quite nice. Now, because we're going straight into a nine volt, I think I'm actually going to change this into a resistor just to protect that LED. So I'm gonna pull this out and I can even just take another one of my one kilo ohm resistors and I can put that from that cathode into ground and that will really help me stay safe. So I'm gonna cut these pieces off like that. Oops. Just like that, sorry about that, couldn't see it. And we'll fold it into a little staple and then I'll go from the ground into that second pin. Just like that. So here is my circuit. And you can see all these little resistors coming in. And now I can add colors together. So I could put some green, I could add maybe a lot of red or a little bit of red. Sometimes a little bit doesn't add nearly as much. I could add some blue to it. Maybe I want a lot of blue or a little bit of blue. Now, depending on your LED, some LEDs mix the colors a little bit better. So some of these colors, sometimes you might get more. And in fact, you should check out our Play-Doh circuits if you really wanna see some amazing colors because you get some great colors with those. But here, it's not as much. What you can do is you can work and see what different sizes of these resistors work really well for you. Um, but it's really fun because it goes along with our Tinkercad video. And now we have built this circuit in real life We've learned how that it's very it correlates really, really well, and it allows us to make some really cool things. We can test it out online, and then we can put it in in real life. Thank you guys so much for joining us, and we will be recording some more of these, and hopefully you'll have a lot of fun building them. Have a great one.